Yo, what's going on, YouTube? This is my first ever moto vlog. I got the the new camera set up. As you can see down here on my right, got the GoPro Max 360. Should be a decent angle. Got my cousin up ahead, Spencer. We are in Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Today is my birthday, by the way. 25 years old. Crazy. What you doing? You trying to get a photo? What? You getting a photo? Look at him go. Just do the damn thing. Sheesh. So yeah, like I said, today is October 1st. My 21st birthday, uh, my cousin made this trip, he's like, hey, uh, I ain't got nowhere to go with you trying to go to Smoky Mountains, Gatlinburg, I said, why not, man, so I appreciate the invite, we got the Ducati 950S Super Sport, we got it in touring mode, and we're just having a good time, I got the ND filter, I think number 8 on, so... You guys might be able to see the difference in the blur and all that, but nothing too crazy. It's a little rainy out here. We're, they had the hurricane coming through, which this area a little bit, I think a little bit east from here, got uh, kind of messed up. So prayers to go out to them. As you can see a little bit, it's starting to rain up here, or it might be just uh, the mist from coming into the damn clouds. But he got better tires than me, so I'm going to let him go ahead. Uh, a lot to talk about, though, man. Steelers lost. First loss to Indianapolis, but we got we got the Dallas Cowboys coming up next. Should be an easy dub, hopefully. Went to the Utah-Arizona game out in Salt Lake City on Saturday. Utah lost, but it's all right. Good time out there. Never been to Salt Lake City. I've been to Bryce and Zion, but never Salt Lake City. Definitely would go back. Good time out there. So, I've always wanted to do moto vlogging. I mean, you have just A6 and just some other, you know, YouTubers. My boy Randy Reality from Pittsburgh. You know, he's always doing the uh, moto vlogs and everything. And I was like, you know what? I should do that because... I've done a lot of cool things. That's why I wanted to get back into filming YouTube. And just this is one of the main things I used to watch on YouTube is just people riding their bikes in cool locations. So I bought me a GoPro Hero 13 and then I got the Senna uh, 50R. So this is actually a wireless microphone. It's actually doing pretty good. Let me know how the audio sounds. But we're out here having a great time I might actually drop it in the urban mode because it's getting really wet out here I don't really need power I need more grip suspension's pretty dialed in never really touched it from factory but this has the Olin suspension on it so a little upgrade from factory Ducati yeah my cousin he got a uh, I think it's a 2005 Harley Davidson. I don't know what uh what model it is, but as you can see, he is whooping my ass. But it ain't a race, man. It's all about enjoying the ride and making memories with the family. He's like the only uh, family member that actually actively rides with me. I got a brother that got a bike, so hopefully he can get him out. Going fast in a straight line, I know I said something about this earlier, but going fast in a straight line, you can only do it so many times before it's like, meh. Like, you just want to keep going faster and faster to the point that, like, is it safe? And on a bike, I mean, it all depends on the bike. Like, this bike, like I said, it's a 950S Super Sport. It's made for, like, mountains and, um, it's like a touring bike. It's not a fast line, fast lane, like, straight crotch rocket and that's why I went with the S model because you get the upgraded suspension and the paint the white paint which I love Ducati red 
I think the next bike I get is going to be the new Panigale V4S. That bike is just beautiful, and that's going to be my red bike. I love the brand Ducati. I've always loved them, and I was very fortunate enough at, I think I was 23 when I bought this, so definitely a pretty good first bike for the most part. I rode all their buddies' bikes, and they had R6s, and my one buddy had a, I think it was a Kawasaki 400 or something like that, or 250. And then dirt bikes, but you can't really compare them. Two different riding experiences, but good learning. And now we're up here in the Smoky Mountains with my Ducati. It's 25 years old. It's crazy how life works, man. Like I said, I, I want to bring the, the van out here, the ZR1. I think it would be a monster stock, but uh, Ducati, or not Ducati, Hooser just came out with a new tire it's like a street tire a 200 tread wear pretty decent size I think it's compared to the triple eight but it's a hooser I think that's what I'm gonna end up putting on my stock wheels because I want to do a drag pack on that but oh, sheesh This bike is so fun. I was gonna get a V2, I think it was. Pentagonic V2. But this bike is perfect amount of power, controllability, everything that I want. And it's a commuter bike. I can drive this every single day, which is crazy. Look at that, we got some turkeys up ahead. What's going on? They over up here on the Dragon. So one thing I love about this bike is I have three different modes. So like right now I'm in urban, which is like city use. And then like, hold on, let me get off the throttle here. I put it, like click this button, I can put it into touring and sport mode. But for this, since it's wet, I'm just gonna leave it in uh, touring or urban. Just because I don't really need the power up here. I just need grip and like, as much ABS stability and all that I can get because I I never been up here. I want to take it as safe as I can. But that's one thing I love about this bike, though. It's like when I'm in urban mode with the uh, most uh, like safety features on, this bike rides like a 400. And then when I put it in the touring, uh, I mean you can mess around with everything. But sport, like there's a difference between urban and sport mode. It's you can tell. Sport mode, everything off, this is a 950. You go to urban, it's just crazy how, like, uh, bikes have came to the point that, like, you can tune them kind of on the fly. It's like different maps, pretty much. Where this bike, I can have it feel like a 300 or a 400, then, like, a 650, and then I get the full 950 power. And that's what I did when I bought this bike. Everybody thought I was crazy because, oh, you're buying a 950 as your first bike? But it, it's not a true 950. Like, it is, but it isn't. It doesn't have the same power as, like, a BMW S1000. Like, a Gixxer 700 or a tuned uh, Gixxer 600R can wax me on top end. Yeah, I have more torque low end, which that's one thing I like about this. But I only redline at 10,000 RPM. So it's a good, that's one, like, it's just a good daily back road cruising bike. This is dope. That view is insane, bro. Uh, we're actually approaching the, the dragon now, my cousin says. So, I'm excited. I know, like, I've always read about this place, you know. It's always been something, like a bucket list thing I've always wanted to do. And here we are, doing it. We're actually here at the beginning of the tell of the dragon i don't know which side we're on here but he just said this is the beginning so obviously we're gonna take it a good and nice and slow and here we go baby <laughs> this is sick yeah if you got a bike and you like back roads you gotta come to i know it's one of the biggest roads you got to come down to the Tower of the Dragon and just go on it at least once in your life.
because this is actually insane. I've never experienced a road like this. We're coming up, you're almost there to Fontan or Fontana Village. Ah, damn, these semi trucks don't give a fuck. Motherfucker just coming in my lane. I feel like semi trucks should not be allowed to come up here. We got a bunch of cars down here. Oh, we got a couple Corvettes. Look like a GT3. Porsches. I don't even know what this is. Tell the Dragon Killboy. What's we doing here? Dude, the one almost hit me again. Crazy. That's what I said. I was like, yo, he almost fucking took me out. <laughs> Dude, he, l I mean, it's on video. I'll show you it, but it's crazy. Really? On the, they honestly shouldn't even be allowed to come up here. Because they take up the whole road. All right, guys, day two up here smoky mountains we are on our way to a place called dream ride i think it's like a little south of knoxville i don't know the exact town it's in but they should have a bunch of cool bikes my buddy uh recommend me to come check it out while i'm here like i said uh he recommend me to come check it out um Apparently they do a bunch of custom bike work, like kind of, not like a West Coast Customs. I don't know exactly how I'll do it, but his bike he has is pretty badass. So it looks like they do more like street glides and Harleys. I don't think they do like Ducatis or nothing, but I mean, if it's custom and it looks cool, I'm in for it. But look the turbo on that thing. <laughs> it's Another one with the turbo. Takes eight pounds of boost.
So we just left uh, Dream Rides of Tennessee. That place is cool. I've never seen a Harley Davidson, uh, let alone I think three or four of them, with turbos on them. Uh, the owner said that they make around eight PSI and they range between like 160 and 210 horsepower. Well, which is pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's on pump gas, which I think he said 93, but <laughs> I think that's sick to have a bike with a turbo on the side of it. I wonder if it has like a blow off valve and anti lag like a car would. But <laughs> we're uh, heading up to the mountains now. I don't know exactly where, I'm just following him, but. Uh, it's a beautiful day, way better than yesterday. Super dry, roads are nice. Ducati's doing pretty good. We just filled up, got some drinks. And we're just gonna go up, have a good time. And these roads are amazing out here. It's, they're not like Pennsylvania, where you got a pothole every five seconds. The roads are all under construction. Like these roads are paved nice. They're in good condition. And I mean, you just gotta be careful, but for the most part, these roads are the best I've ever ridden on. Alright, well, we're back in Pigeon Forge. Uh, <laughs> long day of riding, I think. We rode for seven hours today, roughly, eight hours. Long day, but super fun. Obviously, it's the first day we're spending the night down here. Probably gonna go get something to eat, check out some cool cars that are around. Like I said, they're having that big stance meet. 